Steelers Nation, it actually happened. Matt Canada, the offensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers, or should I say former offensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers, has officially been fired by the team after an abysmal performance in Week 11 versus the Cleveland Browns. This comes after reporting earlier this season that they were going to hold on to him for the entirety of the 2023 campaign, that they felt like he was doing fine, like that he should deserve the opportunity to be the offensive coordinator till the end of the season. So this comes as a major surprise on a Tuesday morning. I literally just woke up here at my apartment in Dallas, Texas, and I had to get a video out as soon as I possibly could. Later on in the day today, we are going to be going live to celebrate. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications because whenever breaking news happens for the Pittsburgh Steelers, we are going to have you covered with a video. Today, Coop and I, we're going to be going live at around 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Central. Uh, and we're going to party it up. So make sure you come in. We're going to be doing lots of O Canada's. We're going to be uh, going over replacements for 2024. We're going to talk about what this means for the team moving forward. It's going to be a celebration. So make sure you're there. 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Central. All right. So now let's get into the details here and who is going to be taking over as the new offensive coordinator. Now, it's definitely going to be an interesting situation here because Matt Canada had pretty much complete reign of the offense. So, and there's not a whole lot of people in the building right now with a lot of play calling experience. So right now, Mike Tomlin is expected to name Eddie Faulkner, the running backs coach, as the next offensive coordinator. But uh, he's also expected to announce Mike Sullivan, the quarterbacks coach, as the as the play caller. So in terms of responsibilities, obviously Sullivan is going to be the person calling the plays with the call sheet on the sideline. But you know, I, I think that what this is going to mean now with Faulkner getting officially the the offensive coordinator title is that he is going to be the one responsible for the game planning. He's going to be the guy in charge of putting together the call sheet for Mike. Sullivan now you know is the person calling the plays not putting together his call sheet really the best strategy I guess we're going to find out moving forward but I'm just happy that Matt Canada is finally gone as a fan base we have uh we've done everything that we have everything that we have possibly could do to make this day happen today. Uh, and today's going to be a celebration of that effort to get Matt Canada fired. Obviously, a family, uh, you know, gets fired today. You know, they, you know, uh, you know, Matt Canada obviously is a human being. Uh, so, you know, it's it kind of feels off to celebrate somebody's life, you know, kind of crumbling down a little bit here. But in terms of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise, this is a net positive. So although we're definitely going to keep it classy here on Steelers Talk and we're going to wish Matt Canada the best of luck in his future endeavors, we're just happy that it's not going to be with the Pittsburgh Steelers moving forward. And I think that this is also a sign that head coach Mike Tomlin is uh, seeing that his offensive vision needs to change moving forward if he's going to get this team back to Super Bowl contention in the years to come. We'll talk a little bit more about what this means for the Pittsburgh Steelers here in just a couple of seconds. But first, I want to shout out today's sponsor, Prize Picks. Uh, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use our code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100 today. Let me tell you, man, Prize Picks. Absolutely fantastic. I'm completely addicted to using this app ever since we started using it and partnering with them here at Chat Sports. Super easy to use, uh, real money, skill based, real, uh, real, uh, a daily fantasy sports game. Oh, where all you have to do is you go in, you pick two to six players, and if they get more or less than their prize picks projection, you end up can, you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry that you put in. It's absolutely fantastic, guys. Couldn't recommend it highly enough. Make sure to go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use our code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Get your picks in before Thursday Night Football this week. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about the state of the Steelers offense and what this firing means for a potential playoff push 
for the Pittsburgh Steelers and potentially even a career resurgence for Kenny Pickett. So right now, the Steelers offense is 28th in points per game. They're 28th in yards per game. They're 31st in passing yards per game. So it's definitely obvious uh, to anybody that has really gone into the film with Matt Canada's offense here in Pittsburgh that this just isn't it, all right? It's very stagnant. There's not a whole lot of uh, getting guys open in space. You know, over the last couple, of, uh, last several weeks, it's been mainly the run game and mainly, uh, mainly Jalen Warren. Uh, to, it's mainly Jalen Warren in the run game getting things going. And it's not really Matt Canada helping Kenny Pickett and the Steelers offense out in terms of scheming stuff open for them, getting them the ball in space. I mean, last week they ran a screen pass, a swing screen with no wide receivers blocking in front of it. Uh, so, like, this is, I think we've all understood that this has been the worst called and worst designed offense in the National Football League for years at this point. Anybody with really eyes could see it. And now it, it seems like Mike Tomlin has finally come around to the idea that Matt Canada just ain't it, man. So it's definitely exciting to see what's going to be going on from now on. The Steelers have been outgained in every single game so far this season. Uh, zero for 10 in terms of being outgained. So I'm really, really hoping that with Eddie Faulkner and Mike Sullivan coming in, that things change. Now, it's here's the here's the deal, guys. Here's something that you have to keep in mind. It's not like it's going to be a whole new playbook. It's still going to be Matt Canada's playbook for the rest of the season. It's not like you can completely change things up as uh, things go on here. Uh, but I do think that the situational awareness is going to be better. I think the sequencing of plays is going to be better. I think they're going to do a better job of uh, of mixing things up in terms of their play calls because we all know how predictable Matt Canada is. I think we'll see less uh, jet sweeps. I think we'll see uh, less of the stupid crap that has completely held back the Steelers' offense over the last three seasons. And, you know, is that going to be enough for Kenny Pickett uh, to prove that he's the franchise quarterback? I don't know. We're going to have to see. Is it going to be enough for the Steelers' offense to get a 400-yard performance finally? I don't know. We'll have to see. Will the Steelers finally get a 30-point win? Uh, I don't know. We're going to have to see. It's going to be an adventure for the rest of the season. I can't wait to break it down with you guys on live today. Again, Coop and I will be in the studio. We're going to be going live at around uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Central Time. And we're going to stay live as long as it takes uh, as long as the Super Chats keep flowing, essentially, we're going to be going live. We're going to be going crazy. We're going to be celebrating with you guys. This is a good day in Steelers Nation. Uh, and I just can't wait to celebrate with you guys, my fellow Yinzers. All right, that's going to be it for uh, this morning's show. Make sure you click that subscribe button and join us this afternoon for our Matt Canada Fired a special live show because it's going to be one of the best live shows we have ever done. Can't wait to celebrate with you guys. I'll see you guys later. And as always, here we go Steelers.